Here is part two of my Super Punch Out review. Holy Jesus. Nice sweater vest, pretty boy. Gotta love the 90s wave hairstyle. The thing about this kid is that you can't punch him in the face unless he does a weird blinky move or uppercut. You only get his stomach as hits otherwise. After he performs the move, you still have to hit his stomach before he you can hit his face. There, now he's gonna be pissed. Now watch his moves and pound the face. That's what she said. It seems that his face seems to take a lot more damage, so keep punching. If you get a chance, I'll provide Go down already. There you go. Once he goes down, he will be calm again. Yeah, shake your head, you smug bastard. This is one fucking weird kid. The arms ripped out of a shirt, a sweater vest, and tennis shoes. He'd get his ass kicked around here if he dressed like that. Fuck. Wham! In the face! I love it when he gets all pissed off. He gets all jittery. Jittery most times. But I just want to kill him and get him down as quick as possible. Hurry the fuck up. Come at me, fucker. His expression when you punch him in the guts is priceless. His eyes bug all out, like, goes all cross-eyed. Here we go, time for the TKO. Come on. And that's the end of him. I definitely should have made great time on him, for sure. Beat the case. See now, second. Just wait on the points, points, you just fuck it up once. Nice, made it to the top of the list again. Oh, I fucking hate this old prick. He's too fast and he has way too many moves. Plus he blocks and shoves you away, followed by face punches. Fucking bastard. Another thing is that he slides back and forth, so you have to use right and left punches alternating each time. And he also has moves like Masked Muscle, where you have to punch him with the appropriate hand or you miss him. I do, however, love the noise he makes when you uppercut him. Me! <laughs> yeah. Those round ass punches are usually fuckity too. A lot of fuck down, Grandpa. Of course, he just leaps up as if nothing happened. I was wondering when he was going to use those chain cane chops. It, it, here's one of those pick the correct hand moves. See him slide back and forth. Oh, sucker. Just ones I'd like to see him barf because of the uppercut. That'd be great. <laughs> Best knockdown motion ever. He skidded across the mat. Jesus, this old dude wants to fucking die. Whoa, crazy old fucking kick. Oh fuck. See, look. Punches in the face. And look. Uh, goddamn Brian has fucking punch. Fuck you, you old prick. You chose the wrong move now, asshole. I know how to fucking get away from the fucking cane bashes. Now, stay down. It usually takes me a lot longer to beat this old punk, but, uh, I guess I got lucky. And I definitely got the hot score with just a little over a minute. Yeah, there we go. Fucking Rick Bruiser. What the fuck? Is he using craft dinner boxes as shoes? Anyways. No free punches on this dude without a counter punch most times. Look how happy he looks. Yeah, and he also uses attacks that require the correct hand to initiate the rest of the sequence. <laughs> Fuck. Did you see his eyes almost pop out when I fucking uppercutted him? I usually find this guy much harder than his brother. But again, that's what she said. His different attacks are much harder to get used to, and his instant knockdown gets me almost every fucking time. The funny part is, when you do get to punch him, he does kind of remind me of a Bobo from the Double Dragon movie. Only worth watching it just to see Alyssa Milano's hot ass.
Fuck yeah. Time for the second time. I don't think I've ever KO'd him before. It's always a TKO with him. Yeah. Oh. Cocksucker got me with the fucking elbow. And there's the instant knockdown. Fucking punch. Fucking prick. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, this one seems like I'm not gonna get first place. Oh, especially not now. Fuck, I can't die again. Good thing I'm used to his blinky move. I'm sorry to call it a blinky move or a blinky attack, but his body does blink every fucking time. And another uppercut should knock him the fuck down. Yeah, fuck your elbow, shit, you fucking cocksucker. TKO. Okay, now that the, I guess the harder parts are done, it's time to go after his brother, who I found is much fucking easier. Let's see how it did. Ooh, just barely made fucking first place. Let's speed this up a little bit. This guy can be easy. Just watch. So you gotta stun him at the right time. Get the punch properly so you can get the uppercut power. Now, once he's stunned, if you give him the uppercut at the right time, you can get your first knockdown. But the exact timing for it, so I want you to try it yourself. Apparently, if you are uber epic lucky, he can stay down after the first knockdown, but it usually requires a TKO, at least for me, anyways. Wham, that's the second time for him. Okay, let's speed this up again. He's almost done. Oh, fuck. Get him. There we go. That's the fucking game. Have to get first place in that for sure. Yeah, now's the time to celebrate, you little fucker. Points, points, points. And show me my high score. Yeah, there we go. This game is fun, and if you like the NES version, you will definitely love this. Well worth the play. And remember, I'm only good at this because I've played it for years, and I've actually owned it on the Super Nintendo. And uh, I actually have two copies now. That's, there's the last of my sweet ass belts. Wish it was real. Thank you for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer. Contact me uh, through email. Uh, join me on Twitter and look for me and subscribe on YouTube. Uh, share my links with anybody and everyone. Thanks. Bye.